to live. You must have an idea, a hope, you must eat, eat you must drink, you must laugh. And you must laugh. So, I am Pavel Stransky, I am a survivor of the Holocaust. I was in Terezin from December 1st, 41, till December 15, 16, 43. So, approximately two years. And in Theresien, that was also my fiancé. We knew each other from the time before the Holocaust, from the year 38. She was also the only child like myself, and her father died in Theresienstadt. When I was put in the transport directly to the east, not knowing that our destination was Auschwitz, no, better told Auschwitz-Birkenau, the two ladies wanted to go with me on their free will in the same transport. And there was only a possibility how to do it. We married. Our honeymoon trip was to the largest extermination camp. And we stayed in this Czech family camp seven months. And then there was a selection. The SS have changed their minds. They didn't put all of us in gas chambers, only some. They selected 1,000 young men and 1,000 young women able to, to labor. And we were sent to different concentration camps. And on April 18, 45, the SS commander forced us to start a death march. So we marched from Schwarzheide again to Theresienstadt. So I started my Holocaust story in Theresien that had ended in the, there as well. Hope dies last. We always hope to survive. And it was possible to survive Theresien for young people, for young and healthy people, for older and, and ill people. It was not, not so easy. It was rather not possible to survive. The life is limited. Uh, when, one, when one, is, one is young, one doesn't uh, think about the, the death. I am 90. I, I am thinking about dying, of course. But I know that it, it, is, it is normal. It is the, the end of the life. But until you must, you must not only eat and, and drink, but also do something. So have a, a inner, an inner life. When I end my lecture in Germany, so I always ask about questions, and they ask many questions. And then, if they have no more questions, so I tell the children, can I have also a question to you? What is, in your opinion, the most important in life? And then they begin to say, uh, family, health, good eating, uh, much money, and then somebody says love. And this is the word I'm, I'm waiting for. The most important thing in life is love. And my wife was in many concentration camps in North Germany. Her last camp was Bergen-Belsen, liberated by the British. So she came to Prague two months later than myself, on July 19th, 45, on the happiest day of my life. So this is, in short, my Holocaust story. So it's a love story. It's a love story, yes. The bad old days of Terezin Seems like an absurd thing All they'll do is laugh